Hello everyone, I'm back and I'm playing Empire, well Star Wars, Empire Wars, Star Wars The Clone Wars mod. And here I have a, I'm at level tech 5 and this is a message to the XP gamers if he gets it. Basically, I found a ship that he could add to his fleet and when the ship gets into range it is devastating. It's amazing ship. Let's just brightness. There we go, that's a bit better. I don't think. Oh there. Actually it all goes off. Alright. Yeah, sorry about this. I'm recording off my phone and onto straight onto the computer. So let's begin. So so here, we have the cruiser, the Republic Attack Cruiser, yes, and now we have oh, the Republic Battleship, twice the size, and I'll show you the devastation of it. I've got my mini fleet here. Well, it's not many anymore. Um, basically, if he gets this, or I might post a comment saying, "Hey, uh, XP Gamer, watch this." Uh, but basically, I'm just trying to show you how devastating that ship is. Like, look how many guns it's got on it. All those dots are guns. Oh, shield generator's up there. The only thing is that uh, it keeps turning around. Who's commanding that ship? Admiral Thrawn. Why, why is he just doing donuts with the ship? Okay, um, Admiral, I need you to take the ship over here. Republic cruisers, I've got two of them. Against a level t level three space station separatist, it's deadly. Like I used it, and it basically destroyed them. Oh, that where where is the ship? What the hell is it doing? Now this is the only problem. I'm not sure if you have too many ships. It, it bugs it out and just does that. But. Um, yeah. So basically, this is for those who don't know know what this game is. It is a Star Wars strategic game. You command your own ships. You attack other planets, defend them, that sort of thing. More planets you have, more build cap, so you can build more ships. And etc. And down there, you can either retreat or auto resolve. Auto resolve it ends the battle with depending on how many ships you have. I retreat, you just like go, like teleport back to the space thing, but you get defeated. Alright, ship. Ooh, there it is. Attack that station. Who's that? Jabba the Hot. Let's pay him a little visit, shall we? He's got one of the rebels' ships. Oh, Jabba's dead. All right, let's go. And that button goes into cinematic mode. I'm oh, looking that Republic cruiser. I can just like go straight through. So that, that's not my entire fleet, what I've got in this now. I've got about six different fleets, and two of two of the fleets have those battleships in them. And look at that, devastating the base. And 
and the ship's not even in range yet. Look at that thing. Oh, he's dead. Oh, there goes a the station. It is a bit laggy for me because of the computer I'm using, but um, if you have a good computer, then it should run fine. What the hell are you doing over here? Ugh. <clears throat> and you have to defeat all of the enemy's units or if they retreat like say we have a victorious and normally the top left corner it'll say uh, the enemy is retreating through hyperspace but you can get a ship that stops that so I defeated a Karelian Corvette which was a republic well not republic a rebel ship the hot asteroid station the bomber. I did kill Jabba the Hutt, but he doesn't say that I've won him. Killed him. Uh, it does this. It sort of like freezes for a couple of seconds. And this is the galaxy. All the red ones are the planets I hold. And Kulat. Kulat. This is my main state, main area for building ships. And all of those Republic Attack Cruiser, Republic Battleship, Republic Integrator, which stops hyperspace windows so they can't escape, Republic Assault Ship, Frigate, Agurlian class cruiser frigate and it's got all the fighters and it's got a dreadnought there dreadnought class heavy cruiser that shows what it's good for and here's the good old admiral who was served under Anakin's command I do not have a let's see if I can put a command on him no I can't um Let's put him first. No, not him. Him. So basically, if you put them in that gold bar, it they send them out first. Oh, you can't see the gold bar. There you go. So you see the gold bar there. If you can't, it's see the arrow. Basically, they they spawn. They go in first. Oh, build space station. And the enemy does attack you, so if you don't have any ships defending the planet, they'll just destroy a station and the troops you've got on there. Got Master Yoda's team, it's it got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten Jedi, a Republic Commando squad. The 501st Legion and Captain Rex himself. <coughs> Ahsoka Tano as well. And that's my squad. And we are going to attack him. So I'll bring the Dreadnought class over. So you just drag and drop. You can do land and space battles. You have to use space battles first and then you do the land one. But I do auto resolve because it likes too much for me when I do it, sadly. So I've got two Republic class, one battleship, three dreadnought, three crew cruiser things, Admiral, and three ships. Oh, wait, I'm. I've got it. Okay, I've got three cruisers, three, two battleships, nine of those ships, five of those cruisers. That's chocolate 
Let's attack the Genos Genosis. I put the volume down. I was playing it last night. It does make, an, it does make a lot of noise because um, it does take time to build the ships. <clears throat> Basically, if you have this mod, then I suggest you install it. If you do not know how to install it, just type in how to install the Star Wars Clone Wars mod for Star Wars Empire at War. Gold, you must have, because it works off Forces of Corruption. That's basically what I'm running now. And there's a, quite a bit of process to do to get it working, but once you've done it, you can you start off at Attack 1 with quite a few ships and republic pins and how you gain tech level is there's there's a research station or research facility that you click on and once that's finished it'll take a long time but once it's finished you click back on the planet and then it should have a republic logo or empire click that and it will improve the tech level I mean look at this Some of my sh ships are off the map, like, but, you know. Oh yes, we're getting staged on those ships. Uh, I think I've lost one of the cruisers, one of the drip battleships. Yep. So I got the battleship to move into the area that I wanted to one time and it devastated any ship and any space station that was, that it wasn't nearby which was amazing. Copy that. Uh, three Republic cruisers. Go up I should clipped off them. That's the ships. Actually, all of you hunt for enemies. And some ships you can do that, you can press to hunt enemies and they'll just go after try and find any enemies on the map and they'll target them. So yeah, th this is a message to um Let's see if it can get his name up. Focus. There you go, the XP Gamer. He's the one who has, who has been watching play this game and who, well, how I found the game my, uh, myself. Uh, so, message to him. Basically, get the battleship. <laughs> it just add one of those to your fleet. It'll spear out loads of fighters. It's an um, impressive ship. The other thing is, it's a pain because it is a bit buggy. So, got four of those acclimators. I think he, I think they're called. There's one of the frigates now, and there's the ginormous space station, and there's my dreadnought going somewhere. Look at that thing. That is a level 3 separatist space station. And that has tons of hangars, tons of guns, and plenty of help and shields. You'll see that in, in the Phantom Menace, in the Attack of the Clones, a lot. And I've seen the XP Gamers get play through 
on the mod. Um, I'm waiting for him to upload another one because I, I find it interesting how he does it, plays the game. So yeah, uh, so if XP Gamer watches this and sees the ship, it's tech level 5 and it's on the, on the station or planet where you've got the most tech level and you can build all the ships. So, if you can, try and get it because I would like to see you have that battleship in your fleet when you attack. And it would limit the amount of ships that uh, it will limit the amount of Republic cruisers that you'll lose. So get one of those, send it in first with with an admiral and a few tactical officers. All uh, right, get the bombers. Target the engines. Target the communication array. So overall, this is an amazing strategy game. It's very old, but it's made from it's made from Supreme Commander as well. The same people made that Supreme Commander and made Star Wars. Um, so it's basically like Supreme Commander's got all the things. You just move. So if you play Supreme Commander, then you'll have an idea. And the gist of how to play it, type of thing. If not, just play the tutorial for the mod or the game. I do suggest having a gaming PC or at least a good laptop or computer to play this game on. It'll be more stable. Cause like as you can see, the cinematics are like freeze framing. Uh, not all of it's played through, but yeah. If you got a good computer, then it will be fine. My, where's my admiral? What the hell is he doing over here? I can bring in more reinforcements. The only thing I've got left is the Republic battleship. I haven't lost enough soldiers for that. Target the engines. We need all the. They've got three engines on that thing. Should only about ten hangers. So all all of my fleet, or most of my fleet, is targeting it. I would like to show you the description of this station, but it might take too long. So I'm going to press auto resolve. As you can see there to the left, things are exploding, that's some of my ships. So if you auto retreat you will lose some men. And sometimes I lose the Republic attack cruisers. Sadly, but yeah. So, really, I lost the battleship and I didn't even. Ah, uh, never mind. I was glitching now anyway. So, I hope you like that, guys. If you like this, um, <coughs> leave a like, and I might do a series. On the campaign on the normal normal game Empire at War and if you want Star Wars the Clone Wars at it from the beginning so let me know in the comments and in the likes I'll see you guys in the next video bye